Okay, guys, once the first step is complete, then what you'll do is you'll take your SD card and we'll actually put it into the Wii. Put that in there, there. Then we'll turn this thing on here. Let's see where my remote is. <laughs> I think it'll automatically switch. Yep, it's automatically switching. And it's going to pull up the, the boot me screen. If y'all have a uh, homebrew channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean the boot me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we'll press power, restart. And we'll go ahead and turn my controller on. And then here's the boot me, uh, I mean uh, the homebrew uh, channel right here. So what we'll do is we'll select the visual Game Boy. Excuse the lighting here. It's a little... It ain't perfect. I'm shooting this straight up from the camera. So, we can, it'll work for a regular Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon 386. So, we'll, we're doing 386. So, it's loading, it's loading. And whatever Game Shark code you entered, it will work. I already, like I, like I said, I already have two. I got the Master Ball one and, uh, um, uh, money. So let's go look here. And this is all from a Wii. I use a remote. I don't know how to how else to explain that part. But uh, <laughs> uh, so you see, I got all that money right there. And then we'll go to the uh, bag, and we'll um, look at the Master Ball. I got 49 Master Balls. So that's basically how you do it, guys. It's really not too hard. You just have to um, make sure that. Uh, when you load the game, all the this, this files are in the same order and everything, so VBAC can read it, uh, read it and all that, and you'll be good to go. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and if y'all need to know how to do Homebrew Channel, let me know that also. You can also look on YouTube because there's plenty of stuff about it. Anyways, y'all take care, guys.